fake engine noise. Pretty annoying, right? Well, BMW calls this their active sound design, and in today's video, we're gonna show you how to get rid of that fake engine sound so you can start listening to the real sound of your engine. Let's hop in and get started. That's right, BMW put fake engine noise through the speakers of the car to make it sound sportier. But then how do you know what's really going on with the actual engine of the car if you're hearing these fake synthetic noises? Easy, just take it out. And if you're following along with the budget sound upgrade system, this is actually stage two. And there's two ways, no pun intended, to actually do this removal of the active sound design. One is that you actually buy this module right over here you remove the trunk liner and you insert it into its respective harness. And if you're curious about how to install the module, I'm gonna leave the link for the forum thread in which that we're following for our budget sound system upgrade. But in today's video, rather than using that piece of hardware, we're actually gonna go with a piece of software to remove the active sound design. And for those of you who have already purchased Bimmer code, this is actually gonna be a free upgrade for you because one, you already have the app and two, you already have the adapter to connect to the app from your phone. Now, if you don't have Bimmer code or the OBD2 adapter, I'm gonna leave the links for both down in the description, but this is only gonna be about 60 bucks. And if you buy the harness, that is also about 60 bucks. The reason why I went with the software version using Bimmer code and the OBD2 adapter is because Bimmer code has so many more functions rather than just canceling out the active sound design. And doing it this way is a whole lot more faster than removing the trunk liner and getting access to the amp that you need to plug in that harness to. And it's also 100% reversible through the same app. It only takes a few minutes just to connect the app to the OBD2 connector and simply select on or off the active sound design. Now, just so that we have a point of reference here, we're gonna play a couple of sound clips from when we have the active sound design in versus when we remove it. I'm gonna go ahead and play a couple of clips here. Ah, gives me a headache. Now, let's play a couple of sound clips when we remove the active sound design. That's a whole lot better. And now with all that out of the way, we can start coding out the active sound design in your BMW. All that we have to do is turn on the car, connect the OBD2 adapter on the underside of the driver footwell, using your smartphone, connect to the Bimmer Code app, and for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do this on the demo mode. Just know that everything takes a little bit longer when you're actually connected to the app because it asks you for your specific car. It will read all the ECUs and then it will read all the ECUs for the specific section that you're going in. In this case, active sound design. So connect, it'll identify the ECUs and at the very top, you have active sound design. Now here, we do not wanna go into expert mode, but if you're curious, expert mode just changes the fake sound engine for the different BMW models. So if you have an M3, or if you wanted the M3 sound, or if you wanted the M2 sound, whatever it is, that's pretty much what ha happens in that section of Bimmer code. But since we wanna take out the active sound design, just simply select it, select deactivate, okay, and then at the top right-hand corner, select code. Of course, in demo mode, you can't do that, but when you do this in the real app, it will actually go through the process, reset the car, and then no more fake engine noise. And just like that, you've taken out the fake engine noise in your BMW. Now you can really hear what's going on in the engine of the car, but also the sound stage and the sound that you get from your car, especially when you're listening to music, it's gonna be a whole lot better. For me, I really noticed it because the fake engine noise actually gave me a headache. And because I listen to books in the car, typically Star Wars books, they have some pretty cool sound effects that go from one side of the car to the other, and it gets so much more enhanced when you remove the fake engine noise. And in addition to getting rid of the fake engine noise and actually hearing the real engine, you've just completed stage two of the budget sound system upgrade for your BMW. 
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.